good morning and joy good day student today we we'll start n plus l rule now this rule states that lower the value of n plus l if the value of n plus l is lower lower the value of n plus l for an orbital orbital the lower is its energy if two orbitals have the same value of n plus l the orbital with lower value of n will have the lower energy so if i consider the orbitals like that first of all we we'll take example then we're we'll going to understand this one 4s for 4s the value of n is 4 l equal to 0 n plus l is 4 for 3d value of n is 3 and value of l is 2 in 3 plus 2 it is 5 this is this value is 4 and this value is 1 this value is also 5 now out of that the lower value of n plus l is this one so it is concluded that 4s having the lowest energy among them now both the value 5 here in this case so if both the value are same then you go for the value of n for this 5 the value of n is 3 for this 5 the value of n is 4 now in this the rule tells that whichever may be the lower value of n is the lower energy so we can conclude that 3d is in between them so 3d is moderate energy between them and this one 4p is the highest energy so what is the conclusion that you can draw 4 is less energy than 3d less energy than 4 so like that student for this one also you can do that for 6s 4f and 5d you can arrange them also with respect to energy you can arrange them with respect to energy after that the one equation is given this is called Schrodinger wave equation so this is the long equation actually 6 to 7 page to solve this one only the final equation you have given this is called h cap psi is equal to e psi where the psi is the wave function h cap is the hamiltonian operator e is the energy another point that i want to tell you that psi square r you will get somewhere in the book gave the probability of finding electron in a radius r so what is the probability of finding radius b if this is the radius r then in that case where the electron probability what is the percentage of getting electron that is given by the psi square. Now, Schrodinger wave equation is not in your syllabus. Just I have given the equation. You go through this. Next, we'll do <coughs> shapes of atomic orbital. So, in this one. <coughs> first one we have boundary surface diagram then one charge cloud diagram if i draw for 1s orbital so 1s orbital boundary surface you have to give a boundary like that 1s orbital now same that for charge cloud diagram for 1s orbital it is like that now 
now for 2s you can draw it like that now for 2s charge cloud diagram is this one Now in this one, we are getting a gap here, so this gap name is called no electron zone here yeah. and no electron zone, this no electron zone is also called radial node. Now there is a formula to get the radial node. radial node is equal to n minus l minus 1 now for if i take consider 3s for 3s the radial node is n means 3 l means 0 minus 1 the radial node is 2 if i want to draw the 3s diagram it will be like that to show the two radial nodes here so these are the two radial nodes this is the first radial node this is the second radial node these are your radial nodes. The radial nodes is finding is easy n minus l minus 1. This is how you get radial node. So one thing student you remember that the shape of 1s, 2s and 3s are same. But in terms of size 3s is greater than 2s greater than 1s so shape and size they are like that now what we have learned about that the shapes are same size are different then will draw the shapes of P orbital next. Shapes of P orbital. So here we are doing the shapes of P orbital. Now, as we have discussed, the P subshell is divided into three boxes. These boxes are orbital actually. This is Px, this is Py, this is Pz. If I write Px, means orbital in the x direction. If I write Py, orbital in the y direction. If I write Pz, orbital in the z direction. Earlier, we have talked about your S orbital, which is spherical to chain. Now, P orbital is dumbbell shape. shape of the p orbital is like the dumbbell shape if i want to draw the px this is your x axis this is y axis this is z axis so this is your px orbital now if you want to draw 
this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis if you want to draw py the py will be like that means in y axis now one point student remember once once you have drawn the px then this plane plane consist of this one is this this is a plane this plane on this plane there is no electron or oh, this is nodal plane so this one is called your no electron zone and or nodal plane and this one is called your angular node so angular node the plane in which there is no electron then how to find angular node angular node is simply the value of l whatever will be the value of l this is your angular node. now if a question is like that find radial node and angular node for four px orbital now answer radial node formula is n minus l minus 1 For four px, n is four minus one minus one. So radial node become two. And angular node, since it is in x orbital, the angular node is one angular node. And this is your y z plane. This plane in which there is no electron. So the y z plane will be the angular node. So diagram wise you have to draw this one like that. this is 4 px we have to show two radial node is your one radial node another radial node we have to show Okay. So these are the two radial nodes for four p x. Okay, thank you, student. Up to this today.